Hello everyone. Blessed Monday. Welcome to Monday everyone. And uh, today is the feast day of my patron saint, St. Lawrence. Uh, I was named uh, Fred Lawrence Johns at my birth and baptism and so it was uh, that name that I grew up with, Fred Lawrence, and uh, uh, it was the name of my dad's brother, Lawrence, who uh, died in uh, World War II. He actually got to come home, but he was very sick when he got home and died shortly thereafter. Uh, he was involved in that, uh, what they call the death march in uh, the Philippines, at the hands of the Japanese during World War II. So my Uncle Larry, my Uncle Lawrence, uh, uh, died at a young age. He was uh, just a soldier coming back from, uh, from the war. Um, and today, the feast day of St. Lawrence, um, a special day for me. And uh, it's kind of strange how, uh, you know, Father Juan and I were joking this morning. It's not a coincidence at all, or it's just a coincidence, you know, it's, uh, that I was given that name Lawrence, and now I've uh, grown up to uh, to become a deacon like St. Lawrence. And uh, with my Uncle Lawrence uh, being in the Philippines and fighting uh, on behalf of us, and then, of course, the people in the Philippines as well, um, now being married for 41 years to a lovely lady from that country, uh, her... Uh, her uncle also was a victim of that same uh, tragedy, and our our grandson is named after him, uh, Illuminado. So it's uh, uh, kind of a full circle thing, and, and a wonderful uh, um, tying together of someone's life and looking back at the history of your life and seeing how God works in little little ways to plant seeds and nudge you along and, and inspire you in one way or another, whether or not you are even aware of it. Uh, it's God working in, in all of our lives. Our readings today, uh, first reading we have for today on the Feast of St. Lawrence is uh, from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. I think it's the second letter to the Corinthians. And it talks to us about being a joyful giver, being someone who who gives abundantly and freely uh, of their lives. You know, it's it's not just stuff that we're generous with and give away, but it's with ourselves that we are generous with and give away. You know, the gospel reflects that too. Our gospel from John uh, says that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it becomes it, it remains uh, just a grain of wheat. But if it falls to the ground and dies, it produces much fruit. So we die to ourselves. We give of ourselves freely, <coughs> and we bear much fruit when we do that. So like St. Lawrence, who gave his life for his his faith, uh, you know, we too are, are called to be generous and happy, joyful givers, never doing things grudgingly or, uh, you know, uh, being bitter about anything that we're doing, uh, but our hearts filled with joy and, and happiness as we share the gifts that we are, we are blessed with in, in this world and in this life. So on this feast day of St. Lawrence, uh, I pray that we all become joyful and generous givers of our lives, of our time, of our talents, of our treasures, uh, not holding anything back, but sharing everything uh, joyfully, happily, and in, for the greater glory of our Lord God. Let's do our evening prayer, shall we? We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and 
will be forever. Amen. By his martyrdom, Lawrence gave witness to our Lord Jesus Christ and gained the reward of heaven. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death. With the anguish of the tomb they caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of power and mercy, through your Son's passion and resurrection, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be ever with us on our pilgrimage, then we shall sing rather than weep. Keep our feet from stumbling, so that we may be able to follow you until we come to eternal rest. By his martyrdom, Lawrence gave witness to our Lord Jesus Christ, who gained the reward of heaven. <clears throat> Blessed Lawrence cried out, I rejoice greatly because I have been considered worthy to be a sacrificial victim for Christ. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. All precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. In this life we fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. Blessed Lawrence cried out, <coughs> I rejoice greatly because I have been considered worthy to be a sacrificial victim for Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for permitting me to enter the gates of your kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for permitting me to enter the gates of your kingdom. Reading from the first letter of St. Peter. 
Rejoice, beloved, in the measure that you share Christ's sufferings. When his glory is revealed, you will rejoice exultantly. Happy are you when you are insulted for the sake of Christ, and then God's Spirit in its glory has come to rest on you. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. You refined us as silver in the furnace, then led us to a place of refreshment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. Blessed Lawrence said, The night is not dark for me, all things shine as in the noonday light. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed Lawrence said, The night is not dark for me. All things shine as in the noonday light. This is the hour when the king of martyrs offered his life in the upper room and laid it down on the cross. Let us thank him and say, We praise you, O Lord. We praise you, O Lord, our Savior, inspiration and example for every martyr, for loving us to the end. We praise you, O Lord, for calling all repentant sinners to the rewards of life, we praise you, O Lord, for entrusting to your church the blood of the new and everlasting covenant poured out for the remission of sin. We praise you, O Lord, for our perseverance in your grace today. We praise you, O Lord, for incorporating our dead brothers and sisters into your own death today. We praise you, O Lord gathering our prayer and praises into one let us offer the prayer christ himself taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you called St. Lawrence to serve you by love, and crowned his life with glorious martyrdom. Help us to be like him, in loving you and doing your work. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a little note about St. Lawrence. Uh, he lived in the 3rd century, in the mid-200s, and he was a deacon under Pope Sixtus, and uh, we just celebrated his feast day the other day. He was also killed by the Emperor uh, Valerian, and then uh, 
after he had done that, Valerian turned to the deacon, St. Lawrence, and demanded of Lawrence the treasures of the church. Uh, apparently, uh, the deacon was in charge of uh, the, uh, the treasury uh, in Rome at the time. And when the emperor demanded the treasures of the church, Lawrence went out and gathered up all the widows and orphans, the poor of the people there that he was tending to, and presented them to the emperor as the treasure of the church. And that, of course, preceded his execution by fire uh, uh, right after that. Uh, uh, Valerian was a little ticked at that uh, expression of, uh, of St. Lawrence's. So uh, just a little note on uh, uh, some of the things that, that led up to his martyrdom. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, restful night. And uh, good Lord willing, we'll do this again tomorrow night.